And they've ended up on the wrong side of that story. Beginning the fourth, second, and four outside Renfro. Who's hustling over there, and Baker is the one to get him. On a gain of three, third and one. Good quick throw by O'Connell, but not a lot of yards up the field, so this is going to be just short of the first down. They've got to get to the 35. Dolphins have been in three one-score games this season. The other six either double digits, win or loss. And that's where we are right now to begin the fourth, third and one. O'Connell is 13-19 through the air. Jacobs cuts. Chubb is there, but he's got the first down. As he piled, drives his way out to the 36. On a third and one, he got two. Well, he tries making the cutback. Long is going to be there, but not enough leverage to stop him, and Chubb comes in at the end after he'd already picked up the first down. To get Davis off the field. This defensive line does not rotate a lot. They keep these guys on the field a lot. They don't rotate much that defensive line. First and 10 O'Connor. And for the first time today, he's got wide receiver Jacoby Myers, who picks up eight on a good-looking throw to the 43-yard line, bringing up second down and two. Only and a big hit by Sealer. Wow. Only bringing four. Sealer able to get the hit. Sealer got that contract extension back this summer. Came here as a player looking for an address. Formerly of Baltimore. And boy, has he made it hard a wonderful career here with the Dolphins. Second down and two. Myers on the move. Good time. And he's looking for Adams, who's covered by Ramsey and by Deshaun Elliott. He had a couple good ones back there. Third and three now for the Raiders. Trying to get Devontae Adams crossing the field, dropping it up the field, but Ramsey's right in his hip pocket. If he throws that ball flat, Ramsey's going to undercut it, so he knows the only place he can lay it is up the field. Not enough space or time to get there. Quiet second half for Devontae Adams. But look, you're going up against two all-pro cornerbacks. That's tough. Third and three. Well, that's what McDaniel told us. He said, we're going to rotate it around. O'Connell to the air, pocket crumbling, Phillips has got him, Phillips will nail him, Sealer tries to pull the ball out, you heard the whistles, and Jalen Phillips does the job, coming in, fourth sack of the season, he had a sack in Germany a couple weeks ago as well. Yeah, Phillips coming off, or Phillips coming off the right, and, and Chubb coming off the left. It's going to be Chubb who gets around to the outside, gets him to step up, and Phillips is able to get there. You see them both chopping. You see the ball come out. Sealer is able to get the ball out, but the whistle had already blown at that point in time. It's Cole who is running to Wilson. He gets the ball at the 13, hang a 4 8 5. And he runs out of real estate. He's knocked out there by DJ Turner, called off the practice squad. And pushes him away in a return of 10 with a punt of 53 yards and a flag. There's going to be a block in the back, Kevin. This will be half the distance or near the 10-yard line. This will go back. During the return, illegal block in the back. Receiving team number 20. 10-yard penalty. First down Miami. Timeout. Dolphins will get it. They're up by seven. Eight yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. 26 of 34. Craycraft on the move. First down and 10. Mostert blocked by Armstead and shoved out of bounds by Kuntz. Minimal gain, second down. Well, coming into today at six and three, it's second down and eight. Achan started, was injured. We haven't seen him since. Take to Mostert, Armstead the block, blocked by Jackson over the head of Mostert. And over there defending him was the defensive tackle, Bilal Nichols. Incomplete and third down. 
So in the fourth quarter, the run game for the Dolphins has really been humming. They've been averaging this season. There's a look at HN. The fourth quarter run game for the Dolphins has been terrific. Over six yards a carry. Highest in 30 years for the Dolphins. But they're in a tight one. And they haven't run as well as they have liked. Mostert has 64 yards. It's third and eight. Ahmed and for oh, it's a fumble on the play unless he was down. And Ahmed is down. Slow to get up. Athletic training staff will run out there. Well, a late flag came in at the end of the play. Rolling on the field as well as runner down by contact at the 16-yard line. Sports out. Good to see him pop back up, but they will look at him closely, clearly. Well, this is going to be critical. Let's see. It appeared like he was down before the ball came out. Yeah, I think He's he down. Went, yeah, left knee but was down. But there is this penalty that happened at the end. Big stop for the Raiders defensively because that should give their offense some good field position depending on what the penalty is. After the play was over, the offsetting dead ball fouls. Personal foul, Miami number 66. Personal foul, Las Vegas number 18. The penalty is offset, fourth down. So 18 for the Raiders is Jack Jones who played in high school for Antonio Pierce in Arizona. And he was just waived by the Patriots, signed by the Raiders, and playing today. He was claimed this week. And look at Pierce over there just cheering on the team. They're still in there, and it's a one-score game. And the putt here by Jake Bailey. And it's not good. Now they'll end up having this right at midfield or right around midfield. No distance, and it's going to be right at the 50-yard line. Not the punt they needed from Bailey, a 33-yarder. The NFL on CBS streams live on Paramount Plus all season long, all the way through Super Bowl 58, including next week's outstanding doubleheader. Try it for free now. Kevin, so, going back to the end of the first half, the lack of aggressiveness when they got the ball back and settled for the field goal to make it a one-point game instead of using some timeouts and time on the clock. Here, you have to be aggressive. There's under 11 minutes to go in this game. It's a one-score game at seven points. At some point in time, you've got to try to take a shot up the field. They're the first and 10, the tight end on the move, the fake to Jacobs. O'Connell, here they come again. The ball is free and flutters out of bounds. He was hit by Davis. Boy, they were closing in from every angle. No place to run, no place to hide. Second and ten, now they're discussing, was that a legal pass? Was it grounding? There was no foul for intentional grounding. The quarterback's arm was hit while he was throwing. Second up. This Vinovich crew, by the way, one of the best in the NFL. Highly rated. That Davis came in there and shoved him. Well, Vic Fangio was thinking they're going to take a shot also because that time the Dolphins went to cover two. They've taken away the deep throw. Only two receivers were out in the route. Nowhere for O'Connell to go. Fortunate that that ball was going forward to be an incomplete pass. Aiden O'Connell with a second down and ten. Mom for the block at the right tackle and outside to Jacobs and Coe, who is there. It looked like he may have screwed. He did get the first down. Kept his balance, walked the tightrope out of the 38. Jacobs does a nice job, and he gets a first down. Game they're gonna, 11. They're coming, they're going to flood the right side of the field because of the defense going up the field. That just gives an easy completion to the flat. Jacob's able to pick up the first down. <laughs> Dolphins have done a good job. We mentioned about how they've been able to lock up Devontae Adams here in the second half. Right now, Kohu on him. Myers on the move. First down in Ted for O'Connell. It's an end around. And trying to uh, work his way free is Tucker and reading it well. Holland, terrific play. Javon Holland, who is the starting safety, second leading tackler, comes up with a huge play defensively. Kevin, it starts with Kohu coming off the edge. He's the one to get into the backfield, cause Tucker to delay. Holland is dropping to that side of the field because Kohu blitzed off the edge. You have to give some kind of support. So he comes down into the box with Kohu blitzing. So once Kohu gets him to bounce back, Holland's there to make the play, setting up second and extra long. That was Tucker's seventh rush this season. 
Second down and 17. The time is there. The block by Illuminor. Here comes Wilkins. There goes the quarterback, and he's got him. Caught by Tucker. Trey Tucker is out of Cincinnati and a rookie. Comes up with a big-time reception. He picks up 23 yards on the play. And they'll mark him at the 22. See how he looks back to the inside, Kevin? He's supposed to be on a deep post route. When he looks back, he sees that O'Connell is flushing to the outside. Uh-oh, but was he in bounds or was he bobbling the ball? Here comes the challenge flag. <laughs> By Mike McDaniel. Yeah, did not have the ball secured, I don't think. And then his feet, it looks like that left foot is on the chalk. One foot, two I foot. I have been ruling on the field of a completed pass. I'm out. That, that toe appears to be on the white. Man, now McDaniel is only two for nine in replay challenges in his career. Timeout. That worked out in the Dolphins' favor. They have a long way to go. They got to get to the 28 of Miami, third and 17. Two of ten on third downs today. Abdullah is the back, looking into the nickel. Aiden O'Connell, Mumford the block. It's caught and shy at the 30. The tackle made by Elliott on Jacoby Myers. Made up a nice bit of ground, though. They get to the 31 officially, and the offense will stay on the field for a fourth and two. Well, this is a big play as Jacobs comes back on the field. Trying to pick up the first down here. I agree with this call. You've got, you've got to be aggressive at this juncture. Your offense... Under 200 yards of offense. You've got great field position. It's a one possession game. We're going to call it fourth and three. You've got to take some chances at some point, and this is one that I think is the right call. O'Connell moving up. Going long and incomplete at the goal line for Jacoby Myers. With Ramsey and Elliott in the vicinity. On downs, the Raiders turn it over to Miami. Another big play by Ramsey. Well, you decide with one-on-one. -on -one. Jacoby Myers going down the sideline with Jalen Ramsey. That's the shot they're trying to take. Ramsey's on top of Myers. No chance to get that ball. So now, we'll see if this fourth quarter running game, which has been so good this season for the Dolphins, comes into play here. With a seven-point lead, Mostert is in. It's first and ten. In the pistol, Mostert walks, Cotton, Armstead, and then the tackle made by Masterson. As he works for a gain of five, Mel. We have an update on Dolphins running back Savan Ahmed. He went into the blue medical tent with the unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant to be evaluated for a head injury. Just came back out of the tent, was given his helmet back, and I'm told he will be going back in, which is great news with Devon Achan still questionable and Jeff Wilson a healthy scratch today. Boy, we have needed you today, Mel, on that sideline. A lot going on. Thank you for that. Second down and five. Each team with three timeouts. The pistol again. Tua with 319 through the air. Mostert trying to gouge his way with a flag thrown as he got to the 40. Then a host of guys brought him down. Nichols has had a good game on that defensive line. Holding. Offense number 72. 10 yard lead. Repeat, suck it out. That's Armstead. Second straight start for him. So Antonio Pierce gets this job. We asked him the other day when they let the coach and the GM go and the offensive coordinator go. I mean, they just started right at the top and they worked their way down. Yeah, and he, and he said, listen, I, I didn't know if it was going to be me. I didn't, nothing was told to me ahead of time. He goes, I wasn't surprised by it because he has faith and confidence in himself and, and what he can do as a leader. So he said the first thing he did, I said, what was that first message? It was see Mark Davis. What was that first message to the team meeting? I said, I was direct, I was short, I looked him in the eye and told him what, 
what I expected of him. Second down, 15 to it of the year. Blocking is there, Connor Williams. And it was caught by Tyreek, but on the chalk. And then maybe when he hit the deck, the ball popped free and it's incomplete. And it's third and a ways to go. That was uh, um, the fact that he was able to even catch the ball. How about <laughs> well, just that? to get it in. I mean, I know it. Just, uh, sometimes as a quarterback, you think you can make any throw. That time there, too, <laughs> by, by throwing that, he's like, oh, I can make any throw I want right here. And that's that was the only place that ball could go. Just a little bit out of bounds. They have six in the secondary, and it's third in Captiva for Tonga Vailoa. Outside for Mostert. He needs the 41. Grabbed by Spillane. Whacked on the play by Polamau. He picked up seven on third and 15. So now it is fourth down. The ball is at the 33. And the punting unit goes out on the field for the Finns. Well, Mostert's looking for a face mask here. It looked like he was more around the neck. Which, based on that replay, he was up around the neck. Later defense again. This has been Miami's second half resume. Interception, missed field goal, then two field goals in a row, and this is the second consecutive punt by Jake Bailey. His last one no good. This one is sent way up there from the two. And this will be taken by DeAndre Carter. And he just about lost his head there with the Duke Riley special teams tackle. So Bailey makes up with it with a 65-yard punt and a 12-yard return. Stay tuned for the NFL Today update delivered by Little Caesars right after this game, time permitting. J.B., Phil, Nate, Boomer, and Coach Bill Cowher for scores, news, and highlights. It's week 11 in the NFL. When we get to Thanksgiving week, it's uh, things change, right? That you, the light at the end of the tunnel, the teams are going downhill, and they can see what's ahead of them. Well, and, that, and that's we, we begin this broadcast talking about the sense of urgency that players and coaches have because of this time of year. And so many teams are still a part of the playoff conversation. We have two of them here today. O'Connell is 16 of 26. He was going to go for Jenkins. And he's that's going backwards. That's, that's, a that's, a that's, a that's a fumble. That's a fumble. That's a fumble. Pick it up. Pick it up. And they do. That was thrown backwards. What are they? They blew the whistle. Why? That was a live ball. That was a backwards pass. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's two yards backwards. Oh, that's yeah, that's, a lateral. that's a live ball and, and that's a lateral and they were looking. So now you can see clear recovery by the Raiders. Wow. They call it incomplete. Second down and 10. Yeah, that was pretty obvious. You know, we're way up here. That was. Jacobs a block. O'Connell to the sideline. Caught with the flag thrown. This is Myers up the sideline. And then whacked from behind by Phillips with the flag. Well, it's either going to be on, on Howard for grabbing him or, or Myers for pushing him away. Best interference. Defense number 25. Mm. Penalty decline. Result of the play. First down. He uses that left arm to try and wrap it around the waist of, of Myers, and Myers runs right through it. 23-yard pickup to Jacoby Myers, former college quarterback, high school quarterback, and a one-time New England Patriot who has had a wonderful season. Five touchdown receptions already, and a big play right there. Breathing space at their 37. Three timeouts and a first and ten. Adams in the backfield. Jacobs gets the call. As he follows the block by Illuminaire, and he is up to the 41 with a gain of four, setting up second and six. And some urgency now. They're going to assemble at the line. Try and change up the tempo a little bit. Not having much success here in the second half. So second down and six. On the cross, oh, the hurdle, Renfro keeps his balance, look at him fly, breaking one tackle after another, inside the 30. What a terrific run, exploding for 31. Renfro working on the backside, he comes across on a drag route, able to hurdle the tackle, 
And then he just protects the football and continues his way up the field. How he was able to that keep his balance amazing. there. Like Edwin Moses. Well, and he's smart enough to see Wilkins about to crush him, and so he goes down and protects the football as now they're inside the 30. From the 28, first and 10, O'Connell. Blocked by Munford, here comes the pressure. Phillips has got him with Wilkins. They bring him down. He's tackled back at the 31. And they lose three, the second Miami tackle today for a loss and a sack. Well, not a lot open. He looks like he was stepping into the pocket to try and get to Renfro, but he sees the safety driving on it. And by that point, the pocket's collapsing. Good job of protecting the football as he's going down. It's second and 13. Inside, good catch. Renfro, who has emerged with the coaching change. Using him, the way he was a Pro Bowl player a couple years ago with over 100 yards. Comes up with a gain of seven. With a lot of congestion around him, he's at the 24, and it's third and six. And Kevin, considering they went for it on fourth down last drive, there's two downs to get this first down. You Good obviously point. want to get into the end zone, but if you end up a, a yard or two short, they've set the tone that they're going to go for it on fourth down. Three timeouts, O'Connell through the air, 217 yards. Third down and six. He wants to maneuver Adams. They're bringing it. They are. Blitz is on. O'Connell. And almost picked off incomplete. Van Ginkle just about swiped that ball. Fourth and six. Well, Vic Fangio has mainly rushed four today. He's picked times to blitz. That time he brings six with Elliott and Baker coming on the blitz. Oh, if Tucker could have come up with that, it would have been close to a first down. Going for it here on fourth. Fourth and six. Devontae Adams is up top on Xavier Howard. And Ramsey's on Myers. Fourth and six. Here comes the pressure. Grabbed, thrown, intercepted Phillips. On the big hit by Christian Wilkins. The Dolphin defense does it. O'Connell looks like he's looking in Devontae Adams' direction. But the ET there where Phillips goes to the inside, Wilkins comes around to the outside, gets the pressure on O'Connell, so he doesn't have time, and then O'Connell's like, I can't go down with the football, it's fourth down. So he flips it, not, not able to get nearly enough on it. Phillips picks it out of the air. Wilkins with the big hit, continues to make an impact on that line. Second, second half interception thrown by O'Connell. Phillips got his first ever NFL interception. Mostert will thrash his way and finally get stopped by Merrick as he wheels to the 45 and a timeout taken. Miami with the ball. Raiders take the timeout. And there is a look at Jalen Phillips, the number one pick out of the University of Miami. He had a sack against Kansas City. He's got a sack today. Four for the year, and he comes up with his first career NFL interception. This defense just had four interceptions all season long. They've got two in the second half today. Well, Kevin, I'm going to talk where you should be able to keep the ball the rest of the game. You've got the two-minute warning coming up. The Raiders just used the timeout, so they've only got a couple left. But if you want to solidify yourself as one of the upper echelon teams, this is your opportunity to melt the game away and not allow the Raiders to get back on the field. Second down, three, Mostert running hard. And like a jackhammer, he takes it to the 49 and gets a first down. 
five-yard gain, and the clock is ticking, and the Raiders with two timeouts. But they've gone blow to blow with the Dolphins they today. Have. Yeah, they, they came in here with a good attitude. They came in and, and approached. They were able to take the football away. The, the difference is they weren't able to get points off of those turnovers. Just six points off of the three turnovers. First down and ten. Ostert again. Crosby slowed him down. And he's to the 47-yard line with a gain of three and another timeout taken by Vegas. So we'll get one timeout left. The two-minute warning will stop the clock. Antonio Pierce, the interim head coach, coming in 2-0 and since he took over for the fired Josh McDaniel. Stay tuned for the NFL Today update delivered by Little Caesars, time permitting. Join JB and the guys in the studio for the latest NFL scores, highlights, and news. All from CBS in New York. Well, and this is good management. I, I, I think that's a that's a good timeout right there. You still have one more. You get a stop on second down. You use the timeout. Then on third down, it's going to get to the two minute warning. So if you're able to get them stopped, in whatever amount of time you can get the ball back, the key is getting them stopped. Second down and seven. That's Wilson. This is Mostert. And the stop by Jenkins and others as he worked his way just outside the 45 of the Raiders who just take their final timeout now 209. No timeouts remaining at the rookie quarterback O'Connell 19 to 32 but two second half interceptions. And the Dolphins themselves are not being clean. They've turned it over three times a fumble by Tua a fumble by the tight end Hill, the rookie. And then an interception thrown by Tunnel by Law. Well, third down here, the whole world thinks you're going to run the football and get it down to the two minute warning. Don't be surprised if play action pass, get two out in space, make it a run pass threat. You're able to pick up the first down, the game's over. You can take a knee after the two minute warning. So if you're the Dolphins, the key is picking up the first down. Raiders need anything to get a stop. Third down and five. Tango Bailoa being chased and throws it away. The ball was well, it was way over the head. It was way uncatchable. But but that's not the that's not the play, because now all of a sudden there's five seconds left before the two-minute warning. And two is going back out on fourth and five. Get him to jump, perhaps, you think, Trent? Yes, I, I would think so. You're not going to give him the—you wouldn't think you're going to give him this type of field position. Well, they had a kicking ball on the field, so you have to throw the K ball off and switch football, so that gives time for personnel to switch and alignment to switch. Fourth and five. I, I can't imagine they're going for it in this, and give the Raiders this type of field position. Hard count would give them a first down if they're get him, if they're able to get him to jump. And there's a penalty on Miami. One was saying false start, the other was saying delay a game. False start. Offense number 58. Five yard penalty. Go and you don't have anything to lose right. there. If, you're, no, if you can get no. the defense jumped, then it, then it's then game's over. Raider defense against the number one offense in the NFL, With holding, holding them to 20 points. Yes. Patrick Graham is the defensive coordinator. He went to Yale. So did Mike McDaniel. Couple years apart. Graham about three years older. But they're Ivy Leaguers. The punt. Bailey will send it. And fair caught at about the eight. They lead by seven. Raiders have it. Out of timeouts. With a rookie quarterback. Marooned at his seven. First and ten.
O'Connell has thrown two interceptions. Adams has been quiet in the second half. O'Connell. Adams with a catch right there, right in front of Xavier Howard. Gain of six, and the ball is at the 13. Well, I think they'll allow them to have that the entire drive, Kevin. I mean, they're just going to let him get underneath. One thing, Xavier Howard, if they're going to put Devontae, and this time he's coming out to the left, so he's going to be matched up on Ramsey, who's going to be in the slot on Renfro. And the running back is Amir Abdullah. Second down and four. Um, for the block. Go and do what he's got. Adams was wide open. He was wide open. And an overthrown pass. And incomplete. And well, third and four. And Kevin, he got him on the double move. Devontae Adams comes up. Watson, he's going to go up and stutter like he's going to the inside. Then he goes, gets Ramsey to jump. Lay that over the outside shoulder. Away from the safety, you can have the ball at midfield. And if you're able to make the safety miss, all of a sudden... It's a different game. Heck of a route there by Devontae Adams. It was. Third down and four. Jacobs is not on the field. Abdullah in the backfield. Tucker is the fourth receiver. Third and four. And they get the first down. Good catch. And he's been handy here in the second half. Jacoby Myers. Makes the grab. On third and four, he got five. Assembling at the line. No timeouts. First down in ten. And there's a catch made by Tucker, who is brought down on the play by Holland. It's a gain of 19. The gain is out to the 37. Well, in that time, they used Devontae Adams as a decoy. He was lined up in the slot. He went to the middle of the field. That drew coverage. That allowed Tucker to get the deep outside dig where they're able to have a lane to throw it to him. We have the first and ten. That's underneath. Tackle made by Baker. It's the running back, Abdullah, and the gain is five. So he's at the 41. Again, the Raiders are out of timeouts. Now under 50 seconds. And to the sideline, and Adams could not lasso it. On that second down and five, covered by Ramsey, it's incomplete. And the Raiders have it third down and five. Right now they're gassed as you see Devontae Adams walking back to the huddle. Now he's getting a little bit of a jog, but... Because they run they every been. play. Yes. Right? Yes. If they, they, do them and they don't have a lot of rotation, so it's... This is where you got to dig deep. If you're the Dolphins, you want to keep everything in front of you. Don't allow anything over, over and try and get some separation if you're trying to take your shot right here. Second down and 10. Good time. Going deep. Looking for Tucker. Intercepted. Another one for Ramsey. Another interception. Sealing the game for the Dolphins. Well, there was your shot. They drew the attention of the safety to the inside. They had Tucker to the outside. What an incredible play by Ramsey. He fell on the ball. May have had the wind knocked out of him. The athletic training staff is out of there. What a game he has had. I mean, he has lived up to the billing. See Jacoby Myers going down the middle of the field. That draws the attention of Holland. Just an incredible play by Ramsey. He landed on the ball. Yes. It may have knocked the wind out of him. I never want to speculate, but the optics here would tell you that. But, I mean, that's what you have to do. You're no, I mean, you're out of timeouts. You've got to take some shots. You've got your fastest guy on the field. He just came off the sidelines. Just an incredibly athletic play by Jalen Ramsey. Of course, it's going to be looked at whether or not that ball. There's Ramsey. They made a trade with the Rams. And they got him. Mike McDaniel told us this week, and it was said earlier by Melanie Collins. He said, Jalen Ramsey is one of the top three players of my football journey. He's all in. 
He's handled his rehab incredibly well. He's been inspiring, in fact, for the team at practice. He is taking scout team reps to get extra reps as he's been out for so long. He said players are watching him and listening to him. His effect has been boundless. Well, and he just said, as they're, they're still waiting for confirmation. And, and Jalen Ramsey just had his Jerry Maguire moment. He stayed down, and then after he gets up and he gets the crowd going, he gets everybody going, he gets the cheering going. What a game for Jalen Ramsey. Two friends. They'll meet again down the road for sure. But today, the Dolphins win it. And Miami has now won four of their last six. They're 5-0 and at home and 7-3 and three overall in guarantee.